Hello people. So today in this episode, uh, we'll be looking at balancing our chakras through art meditation. So this meditation, you can follow what I'll be doing or you can first experience the painting when I'm doing the painting and then later on um, do it on your own or maybe look at the video and follow the script. So I will suggest first look at it, observe this breathing, this movement, along with movement and breathing, there's also um, color meditation. So when I talk about color meditation, uh, you are breathing in the energy of the color that you're using on the paper. So this meditation is amazingly good to balance your chakras. For thousands of years, uh, our ancient people have been using chakra meditation as a modality, as a form to bring in more sync and balance in our inner energies. So let's get to work and begin with our chakra meditation through art. So it's called art meditation using colors to balance your chakras. Extremely grounding. Any, anyone can do it. I'll suggest not below seven years or eight years. The children should be at least seven to eight years if they're doing it with you. As a parent, you can both do it together without the child knowing the script or following the script. The child can just experience it in the form of a rainbow. I will say that. But for us, you can do it with the script, keeping all your attention to the color and the breath. So let's begin. Let us begin with today's uh, chakra art meditation activity uh, you need a paper a simple paper cartridge or watercolor paper or a simple even pk sheet will do uh, we will also need all the seven colors of the chakra blue purple red yellow green and orange. I make orange using yellow and red together. We will need some water to wet the paper. So before you begin with the meditation, the prep is you need to wet the paper on both the sides. This paper is a watercolor paper and as I wet it, you'll see it gets more and more transparent and it is such that I don't need to wet it on both the sides but when you do it, you will have to wet the paper on both the sides. This being a watercolor paper, one can manage to wet only on one side and yet it is very ready but when you do it on a simple paper, maybe cartridge or a TK paper, I will advise you need to wet the paper on both the sides. Many people ask me what is the reason that we do wet on wet. And wet on wet helps a lot in balancing our emotions and expression of our soul. It helps to release a lot of expression. So when we use it for uh, painting, especially when we do intuitive painting or meditative painting, it's always advisable to do a watercolor painting or and if you can do wet on wet, that's one of the best ways to balance your emotional body. So once you're ready, this is how you need to be ready. And then you can close your eyes and focus on your breath. Simple breathing. You don't have to do too much. Just simply breathe through your nose. Out 
and slowly breathe out through your mouth. Just get aware of this breathing. Center yourself with this breathing. Focus on your breath and while your body is slowly tuning in, just slowly bring your attention to your breath, the air that's moving in. And moving out. Just slow down by taking deep breath into your stomach. Breathe through your stomach. So breathe in and breathe out. Continue for a minute or two till your body feels relaxed and very present in now and when you feel calm and you feel more present in your body then slowly open your eyes bring all your attention so this is my talk and this is the part of the paper which is facing me it's near me and this is away from me so when you paint you also need to understand that we begin here and we move upwards so when you start over here we begin with only water for just few strokes so from your left to right you will be moving breathing in and then breathing out so just breathing in pause breathe out breathe in pause breathe out Be as gentle as you can with your brush. As you move upward, try to slow down. Try to slow down as slow as you can. You can also try to increase the pause. Keep a count. Breathe in. One, 
टू थ्री फोर ब्रीद आउट So once you have reached your top, while you are focusing on your breath, slowly bring your focus to the bottom of your spine. Take some red color. and focus bring your focus while you're painting to the bottom of your spine there's no hard and fast rule that you need to go left and right but for today's painting we will stay with this movement as we are experiencing our breath and we did the breathing exercise using it so we'll stay with it keep your focus on your breath and this time just feel as if you're taking in the color red you're breathing in the color red breathe in breathe out your focus on your at the bottom of your spine and breathing in color red color is color orange continue breathing as if you are breathing in color orange breathe in color orange go slow keep your focus on the color and the movement of your brush keep your movement as gentle as possible and slowly focus on your lower abdomen the belly the down part of your belly while you breathe in the color orange breathe in the color of the sun focus on color yellow it's also the color of light this chakra is called the power house of our body it gives you the power to connect with people it rules your gut area the power of the sun focus on yellow and breathe in yellow i always tend 
to be a little faster when I am doing this. I don't know. I always speed up with this color. Maybe it's the quality of the yellow too. Bouncy. And you know, playful. It might be that. But then I have a tendency to go very fast whenever I pick up the color yellow. But I would like each one of you to go really slow. Sometimes just respect at times when you feel like doing it also you can just go ahead again remind yourself i need to focus on my breath so bring back all your attention to your breath breathe in pause breathe out and while you do it feel that you're breathing in the color yellow the next color that we are going to use is color green. Breathe in. Breathe out. Focus on your breath. Focus on your heart. Feel the energy of the green and the power of love energy, the power of your heart. This is the most beautiful chakra. It helps you to balance between the earthy energies or the grounding energies and the spirits the higher energies and your higher consciousness. Breathe in, breathe out, feel the color green moving in your body through your each breath and when you breathe out, you breathe out all the stress, the tension, anxiety, or any negative feeling, breathe it out through this chakra. The next color is the color is blue. It's a light shade of blue that we are going to use here. The color of communication. Keep going and breathing in this beautiful color blue. So as I said, blue is the color of communication. And that's the color that we find in the logo of Facebook, Twitter, Never thought about it? The apps that help us to get communicated with people. How intelligently they have used the color blue. So the dark blue or indigo. That's the color of your third eye. And that's the color of awareness. The color of Shiva. Most of our avatars are shown in this color. The color of Shiva. The third eye. Breathe in. Breathe out. The topmost chakra, the crown chakra. The color is violet. It's the color of spirituality, loyalty, 
No doubt it's on the crown, on top of our head, connected with the spirits. If you noticed, most of the um, educational institutions and uh, you know where there is a lot that they work with intellect, they mostly use color violet and purples. The color of the uh, intellect as well as inspiration. So once you have done it, you need to wash your brush very thoroughly. It should have nothing but just water. And we come down. Same technique. Just move over the colors. And this time, you're going to go through all the colors. Allowing them to merge go slow keep your hands the brush needs to run over the paper very gently if you feel that your brush has dried, then again dip it in the water, carry some water and start again. Go slow. You might have noticed that while coming up with these colors, he spent more time with the lower chakras, that is the color yellow orange and red while we gave very little time to the higher chakras that's because the meditation here the focus is on grounding and helping our body to establish and work with its earthing. I repeat going a little higher with the red, moving into the orange and again coming back. And while I do this, I'm also trying to focus on my breath. So I go up. I touch the orange and I come back. So do not quickly get back to any work. Focus on your breath for some time. Just relax. Be there. And while you're winding up, like picking up the painting, putting it down, cleaning up. Still be in the moment of focusing on your breath. Today's meditation, the importance is on breathing, taking in the colors and breathing in those colors and bringing more nourishment and vitality through colors into our body system. So breathe and yes, keep breathing, breathe well, uh, stay grounded, be simple, when you finish up with the cleaning up and other things and get back to your work, keep still being very conscious of your breath on and off. Okay. And next, if you like the video, kindly share it with your friends. Do comment below with your uh, experiences. How did you feel? Whether the meditation worked for you? What was your experience? It's always very, very subjective. So each one feels very different with the same exercise. Kindly give the feedback and I would really appreciate it. The next video uh, will be on rooting again. And this time we are going to do an exercise on making roots. And while we do the root, 
how do we also do our grounding along with the rooting so it will be a completely guided meditation using the method of rooting uh kindly give the feedback of this video so i know how we can work out in case if there's some instructions that you find difficult or something like that yeah thank you so much take care